Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I proudly present some tips and tricks about the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. So, one of the first tips and tricks is with the star button here. So if you press it and you haven't configured it yet, this is what's known as the custom button. You can choose it, uh, you can choose to have it turn on and off the display, for example. So if I do that, it shuts the display off. Do it again, it turns it back on. You can also tap the screen. You can have it bring up your phone projection, your custom menu, Bluetooth audio. So let's just put it on phone projection, which is your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, depending on what phone you have. Another neat feature is the automatic parking brake. So it's on right now. If I put it in gear, it's off. I didn't even have to do anything. So theoretically, you should never have to manually push the switch down. All you have to do is put it in gear if it's on and then the brake goes off. Then all you have to do is pull it that's all you ever have to do with the button is pull it. You should never have to push it to release because it has two automatic releases. One when you put it in gear, the other when you tap the gas when it's in gear. And another neat feature about the parking brake is once it's on, if you pull and hold up for three more seconds, not sure if you heard that, but it locks up to maximum holding capacity for when you're on a hill. Another neat feature is the lane keeping assist. Turn that on and off. Auto hold. So you have to activate this every time you want it to be on whenever you start the car. What this does is when you're out of park, if you're stopped, then that white auto hold light will turn green to indicate that the brakes are being held by the car and you can release your foot from the brake. Another neat feature is if you have the auto high beams, just turn the light switch to auto, push forward, the auto high beams are activated. It's a pretty nice feature if I must say so myself. Relieves, relieves you of having to turn on the high beams manually. One of the last cool features is the shutoff chime. So I've enabled that right now. You can enable it in your settings. Check my in-depth review for how to do that. But as soon as you turn off the engine, it gives you a nice calming chime and it's very relaxing. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up in the face, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, do what you do best and peace out until next time.